Let's go. I don't know about this, Terry. Come on, Timmy. Don't be a pussy. Stick with Rocky here. How do we know if this stuff is even here, Reynolds? What? You don't believe the nephew of the biggest drug lord in Melbourne? You guys are more fun. Here we are, gentlemen. Freshly printed exam papers. These things will go for a lot on the black market. And a lot of trouble with the court. No! Oh. Oh. No, what are you doing? Cut on the act, eh, Timmy? Cut it out, guys. It's not fair. Delete it! Hey! You don't get to speak to me like that. Hey, Timmy? Don't forget about those shrimps I got you. Don't push it. Reynolds, leave him alone. You don't have time for this. Let's go. Just a bit of fun, eh, hey, Timmy? What is this? A power failure? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Shut up, fuck, Todd. Ben, oh where are you? Ben? Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Rocky? I'm losing it, Terry. Shut up. It's happening again. I said shut up. Rocky, come on, man. Where are you? I can't do this, man. I can't Oi, do this. get back here. I've done my bit. I'm sorry. God, please don't kill me. I'm sorry. I know I've done bad, but I'm all right. I'm not a bad guy. Oh, please don't kill me. Nobody's listening to you, Timmy. Nobody ever was. Tim? Ben? Where are you guys? Tim? I played around. Screw this. What the? Who? What? What are you? Justice. Hi. The name's Kamaman Bell Devon Pollock. Bit of a mouthful, I know, but Turkish is like that. Either way, my friends call me Kala, and seeing as I have only one of those, I guess he could call me Johnny Turk if he wanted. Introducing William James Newton, your perfect generic nerd. Academic genius, social disgrace. We've been inseparable since kindergarten, and as tends to happen to two social dropouts, we've been bullied the whole way through. But, as he always says, give this man a few years and he'll be running the country and I'll be out on the streets. Well, well, at least that's justice. I don't understand you, Carl. You spend your life reading comics and staying up late. There's a world outside your mind, you know. It's alright, Phil. I like living inside my mind. As far as I'm concerned, it's the sanest one out there. You have a very warped sense of sanity, Carl. Did you spend any time at all studying last night? Nope. Too busy doing nothing. I honestly don't understand how you have the time for it all. I just try and make the most out of what I've got. Life's short, you know. Yeah, so they say. I don't see you making much out of it, though. Hell, at least I have some time for parties. Even if I do end up bored to tears. For whatever reason, I wasn't born with those talents. I'll work now and I'll play later. Different see you only lives once. You sound like a world-dominating megalomaniac already. Give me four days and I can hack the Pentagon. Who says I don't rule the world already? <laughs> Shut up, man. Hey, what's going on here? Excuse me, boys. I'm afraid there's been a bit of an accident. You've got the day off. What kind of an accident? The kind that's confidential. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to leave. Drinking on duty, officer. Come on, Carol. That's Senior Sergeant Jones to you, Sherlock. What the hell do you think you're doing? So what if I'm drinking? Arrest me. You have no idea. I know that you're single and have been your whole life. That there have been women there. Oh yes. I know that you're a crack addict, a school dropout, and a bully. I've seen your kind before, Senior Sergeant Jones. You are a failure. And that is what the law has become. But don't worry. I didn't get all that from the mud on your boots. It's written all over your face. Hey, uh, calm down, Carl. Look, sir, I'm, I'm sorry. It's all right, Bill. We're leaving. 
Jones here doesn't want any witnesses. Jones, aren't you supposed to be on duty? Some kid was giving me a lip. And you're the replacement. Get moving. Yes, sir. <laughs> Rookies, eh? Keith, how's it coming along? Well, the Yonya, that's Timothy Sykes, has a history. You know, psychotic, pyromaniac, drug trafficking. Taking all the drugs you can think of. What? Even more so than you, Lane. Not the time, Senior Sergeant. Anyway, the point is, I'd be willing to bet my chest hair that sight. Well, you better start shaving, sir. Found something. Shit! What is that thing? This has gone beyond my station, boys. Hello? This is Jonathan Fitzpatrick. Give me Detective Larry Stark. I've got a case that might interest him. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you. Detective that. Inspector Larry Stark, step aside. Stark, you've got time to turn it up. Fitzpatrick, long time no see. I assume the suspects are waiting inside. Good old stuff. We're straight to the point. Martin and Kyle roughed these guys up earlier. But I'm not gonna lie. These guys aren't exactly psychopath material. They never are. Then the knives come out. What I said, Mr. Tran, was that we understand that you're the janitor at Northwood College and you were here last night. Is this correct? He asked you if this was correct. You know damn well it's correct. I was here last night, so what? I was working late. Look, look, Mr. Adams. And we know that you've been teaching Terry and Ben math for the past three years. Bit of a coincidence that you were at school on the night they died, wouldn't you say? Yeah, so what? I've been teaching these kids since the day they arrived. You people should be giving me a medal instead of interrogating me. For killing them, Mr. Adams? Killing them? I, I, I would never do something like that, sir. You just... Oh, of course you wouldn't, Billy. It's not as if you've had any reason to dislike them for anything. Oh wait, now I remember. They've been bullying you since they first laid their eyes on you. No, you, you've made a mistake. My asthma, I'm, I'm weak. I, I wouldn't have. It's all right, Billy. You can leave. Past the shrooms, lazy. Hmm? Ah, oh, yeah. Come on, mate. What's the problem now? I don't know, man. Feels dirty as all. Surely $10,000 is enough to get yourself a bath, Lane. Come on! The guy made you. And this whole mysterious benefactor thing, come on. Doesn't it make you a little. Uneasy. Nobody makes me uneasy, Jack. Relax. Smoke some dope. Drink yourself, stupid. And let's just. Lane, you alright, man? Lane! Holy shit, you alright, man? <laughs> oh, shit, what was that? 
baskets. Come on, let's go. Shit. They got Jones. I noticed. We're here. Where are you going? Go away. Please. I'm done with you. Haunt me no longer. No. No, you're wrong. I'm wrong. What I've done, it, it's not right. I, sh I, I should just give myself in. No, Gar. Justice must be served. And you are the only one who can serve it. No, please, you, you can't. You reckon the ungrateful wretch did what? Mr. Polat, your son Carmen is at, only at this stage considered but a suspect. Although, this is a murder case. Look, if we could just come inside for a moment. Oh no, you don't. I know what you want. Let me tell you something. There's no laws against people drinking in their own home. No, sir. Drinking? Please, sir. Believe me when I say that. Cameron, give it up. The game's over. Wasn't asking for thanks anyway. You caused me a lot of trouble, you know. Me, you're loving it, of course. My associate is busy appeasing them in my stead. Guess it's just a court case now and you'll be off. I'm sure they'll find you a nice cold cell to rot in. You'll love it. Carmen is dead. You'll be happy to know that your friend spied those gunshots. She's recovering the hospital now. Freeze! Get down! Kara! I wasn't wrong, you know. I could have been a hero. It was you, wasn't it? You hired Lane and Jones to kill Fitzpatrick, didn't you? I overheard them talking before I... murdered them. Yeah. It was me. But I had my reasons. Fitzpatrick was making mockery of the police department. Since the day he started out, Jones just one of his own projects. The man was corrupt to the bone. Believe me, Kara, there was nothing personal about it. You're no better than me, Inspector Stark. Goodbye, Kara. 
Good luck.